down. Here we go. What up? It is time to do 2018. I'm going to get their baseball. Four box break number six. All right. Let's do what we do. Where's my knife? Here's my knife. What video is that, Ra Ra? I kinda I'm kind of afraid to click on it. Oh heck yeah! <laughs> That's the greatest thing ever. I need to hold on, I need to watch that. <laughs> oh man, that's great. That is great. Speaking of, today is Monday Night Raw. Today is Monday Night Raw. Oh man, this is awesome. I forgot, that's right, the hair versus hair deal back in the day. And I don't think Vince McMahon has like let his hair grow since, actually. I think Vince has been rocking the chrome dome for a minute. Oh, Donald Trump took like the worst stunner ever in the history of ever, bro. That was the wackest stunner ever, dog. But the fact that my man Stone Cold, yo, Stone Cold should run for president. I guarantee, if Stone Cold was to run for president, he would win in a landslide. Like, it wouldn't even be close. Ima like, bro, just picture that. Instead of Hail to the Chief playing, it'd be a glass shattering and then, like, the Stone Cold theme song. Oh, my God. It would be chaos. Good luck, uh, good luck Vladimir Putin trying to intimidate the old rattlesnake. What? And then we can have JR as the vice president. Slash, like, color commentary. Oh, my God. That would be so great. That would be awesome. You know, <laughs> like, like, seriously, like, show video. Like, I wonder how many people that voted for Trump know that he was uh, a victim of the Stone Cold Stunner. Dude, all in Austin 2020. Austin JR 2020. Oh, hell yeah. That, that would be the slogan. If y'all want to see Stone Cold Steve Austin run for president in 2020, give me a hell yeah. Hell yeah. Bro, it'd be the greatest thing ever. And it would not even be close. It would not even be close. I'm telling you, all the kids would come out to, to vote. All of my generation would come out to vote. I mean, listen, if Harambe and these nuts got votes for presidency, I'm pretty sure Stone Cold Steve Austin would get, like, a lot. I Speaking of which, I heard Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, was thinking of running for president. I don't know how serious he was about that, but that would be pretty funny. You know who should, no, actually, you know who should really be vice president? Whoever it was that was throwing Stone Cold the beers during his tenure at the WWE. Like, I swear to God, I don't think Stone Cold and that dude ever messed up, like, in exchange of beers. And, like, the dude was, like, he must have been, like, John Elway or something. Because he was throwing those, like, he would throw those beers, like, on the money. Wherever Stone Cold would, like, place his, his hand, sure enough, a beer would soon follow. But anyway, let's uh, let's do this Ginter, shall we? Good luck, everybody. All right. Well, here's a mini for Mr. Chief Cornstalk. A Zunino mini for the Ray. I'm sorry for the uh, Mariners. Gotta check the backs of those minis because uh, sometimes they are numbered. Mr. Andrus, Rangers Mini. Mustauskis, Royals Mini. Mr. Cozart, Angels Mini. Mr. Stroman, Blue Jays Mini. 
That would be amazing, Big Greg. That would be amazing. I would love to see The Rock like wrestle one last time. Just just for me. Just one time for my childhood. Uh, inverted pin. Uh, what is that? An inverted Jenny? Postage mini? Well, whatever. Save time on sleeping. I gotta pay people for that. Shooter McGavin, I swear, like, I really hope that he signed, and, and if he did sign, I hope he signed it as Shooter McGavin. The uh, Adam Duvall promo card, win you a trip to the uh, Home Run Derby next year, maybe. Michael Fulmer, Tigers Mini. Mr. Uh, Stevens, Mini for the Reds. Mr. Correa Astros Mini, a Buster Posey Relic for the Giants, a Baseball Superstition. Now, for those of you guys wondering, well, listen, that's an Arizona D-back on the card. I should get it, right? I'm sorry, guys. This is technically a Baseball Superstition card. Does not have a team designation. Therefore, this card belongs to the non-baseball spot. All right. What else we got? Like this card too, the bullpen card. That would not go to the D backs. That would go to the non baseball spot. Because technically, it's a non baseball spot. Yadi Molina, Cardinals mini. A Robinson Cano relic for the Mariners. We have Mr. Xander Bogers mini, Red Sox. What else we got? What's, what's wrong, Moody? Cespedes mini for the Mets. Mr. Scherzer mini for the Nationals. Mr. James. Well, I I agree with you on that, Stevens. But it's still that is a not that is a non-baseball designation spot. You know, I can't tell you when the last time a bullpen you know swung and hit a ball or threw a pitch or anything. Uh, but that is indeed a non-baseball spot, Moody. I'm sorry. Spoke to Jason about it, and that is the case. Ottoman Empire flag mini. Sorry to disappoint, Moody. Matt Chapman, A's mini. Dang it. Always got to check the back of those minis because some of them are numbered. What up, freaking nature? Aren't you supposed to be working right now? Mr. McMahon, Rockies mini. Like, aren't the uh, Marlins back home? We have the Acrophobia, Fears there. Um, baseball spots. I love you, Moody. I love you, Moody. Mr. Rogers, mini there. Oh, you have the night off? I thought you were working at the stadium today. The uh, Trinidad Moruga Scorpion Pepper. Yeah, anything with like the name Scorpion in it, I'm probably probably not gonna be tasty. Stevens Reds Mini. You know, speaking of Scorpions, I uh, actually I enjoy doing this sometimes. Where like there's this channel on YouTube that like pits insects against each other. It, it's kind of like a battle royale kind of deal. And I was watching like a wasp, like a hornet wasp, go up against like this emperor scorpion. And it was a pretty epic battle, but the scorpion came out ahead eventually. You know, I thought the wasp would do work because it has the advantage of flight. Uh, but it was a pretty epic war. Anyway, a uh, Rizzo Cubs Mini. You know what insect I didn't think was, like, vicious, but it's actually really vicious? The uh, a centipede or a millipede. Don't play with any of those, man. And don't play with that Merrifield. Royals autograph. Very nice, Royals. 
Uh, quiz, name of the scale which measures Pepper's heat index. Uh, I'm going to go Scoville, uh, Mr. Moody. The Scoville heat index, which goes up to the millions, apparently. That's another thing I like to watch. There's this thing on YouTube where it's like, uh, is this dude with like celebrities eating hot wings? I think it's called Hot Takes or something like that. And like he'll he'll have like cele like he'll be interviewing celebrities, and each question he'll like have them eat a wing with like hot sauce on it, and it'll it'll tell you like the units on the Scoville index, like as far as how hot it is. It's pretty hilarious. Mango habanero might be like the hottest one I've ever like dared try. But then again, I'm not really into like, you know, spiciness. Cuz I, I just I'm not I'm not I would like to taste my food, you know. What up all my people's over on Breakers, Boz, Shane, Shooter, Ridicule? What's up, y'all? Breaking a little Ginter right now. Got uh, two more boxes to go. Four boxes total. Hoping to see some hot fire. Yeah, freaking nature. The uh, the cardboard Jesus threw some stuff in the store. I have not heard about that, Moody. And uh, freaking nature, you know we're trying to fill everything, bro. The wings at work are about 800,000 Scoville. That's still kind of hot, but in the millions is where the hotness is at. Like the real hotness. Yeah, you, you, like ridicule. I don't know what the hottest wings you've ever eaten was, man. But I've once had like these, you know, well, I've tried them a couple of times. Mango habanero over at Buffalo Wild Wings that we have down here in Miami. And uh, pretty, I don't know, they're probably nationwide too. Uh, and I don't know what the Scoville unit he indexes for mango habanero. But it's it's got to be up there. It's got to. And like seriously, like why even make peppers that hot? Like it's not even like it doesn't even taste good. Like at that point, I'm worried about my losing my sense of taste. Like you know, I'm I'm I'm, I'm causing permanent damage to my taste buds eating this Carolina Reaper or, or whatever. You had one million Scoville, but people were going to the hospital. Exactly. Like, why even make a pepper, like, or a sauce or whatever that hot? Like, it's not even enjoyable. Like, you would have to be, like, half dragon or something to eat that and, like, enjoy it. Anyways. Box two. What you got? A Chris Sale mini for the Red Sox. See, like, this card... Got Bryce Harper on the front, but that's a non-baseball card. Mr. Scherzer, Nationals mini. Yeah, I hear you, Ricky Ridicule. Like, what's the like? Seriously, what's the point? Like, unless it's like a dare, you know what I mean? And like, in the male competitive testosterone juices are flowing. Like, hell yeah, I'll eat that hot wing. I, I ain't no bitch, but like, just for like for straight pleasure, like. Oh, yeah, let me try these uh, million Scoville units because it's a Tuesday and um, I'm into that. Yeah, no, thank you. Arachnophobia mini. Uh, Sugar Shane, after this, we have Diamond Kings number 37 for eBay. And after that, we have Status Basketball number 13 for eBay. 
Uh, Jason Hayward, Cubs mini. Victorio, Indigenous Hero mini. So birds can eat those hot peppers and not feed and not taste the heat, really? Brian Dozier, Twins mini. Well, then again, not surprised considering that birds are supposed to be direct descendants of dinosaurs. Mr. Benjamin, a.k.a. Uh, the voice of Bob's Burgers. And Archer and uh, other folks there. Game used memorabilia while he was in the booth voice acting. That's hard work. Uh, Mr. Schmoltz. Braves mini. Mr. Thomas. Frank Thomas. Mini for the White Sox. The Vermont Lost Nation uh, mini flag. Back to back minis here. Mr. Rogers. And Almora of the Cubs. Another Almora for the Cubs. That's not the black and white, by the way. Black and white minis are about one per case. And they have the same similar black border. However, it has like a felt um, feeling to it. Uh, Enduhar, Yankees mini. Yeah, so to answer your question, Moody, I have hit them. They're about one per case. Alcantara. Marlins Mini. Dickerson. Pirates Mini. Like, that's Jock Peterson. That doesn't go to the Dodgers. That goes to the non-baseball spot. Just, uh, just saying. Mr. Pedroia. Red Sox mini. Now this is kind of cool. This is like an actual cloth. Number three out of ten, Byron Buxton for the Twins. It's pretty sweet. That's like actual cloth. That's pretty pimp. That's not like a card cardboard. No, that's like cotton or something. That's pretty nice. Pretty cool. Would it be even even cooler if he signed it? Alrighty. Mr. Cisco. Orioles mini. We have a patch for Mookie Betts. Red Sox. A mini for Jason Hayward. Cubs. Mr. Cueto, Giants Mini, Encarnacion, Indians, uh, Home Run Derby Challenge, Frank Thomas, White Sox Mini, Postage Required for Mr. Lincoln, The Flaherty Cardinals mini. What's in this thing? Tommy Wiseau, who made uh, arguably one of the worst movies ever. With a mini card there. It's this movie called The Room. And I I would not suggest anybody watch it. It's, it's just terrible. Unless you like seeing, like, train wrecks, then by all means, Google it and watch it. Arcia, Brewers Mini. And Otani, Base Card. Alright, that's two boxes down. I need space, so let's move that over.
Now, if anybody's wondering, I am going to open the box toppers, but at the end of the break. The box topper, box loader, same deal. Wonder if we're gonna hit a rip card here. That would be nice. That's what I'm talking about. Box three. Like home tay mini. Mr. Brinson, Marlins mini. There's the promo for Conforto of the Mets. You scratch it off, maybe win a chance to uh, go to the home run derby next year. Brett, Royals mini. Giolito, White Sox mini. Peterson, Dodgers mini. Carlos Correa. Relic for the Astros. A Tibet Mini. Cabrera Tigers Mini. The Josh Bell Pirate Relic. Santana, Phillies uh, mini, 
Yelich Brewers Mini. Claustrophobia Mini. Chris Davis Orioles Mini. Pocahontas Mini. Get another Otani base card for the Angels. Roger Maris, Yankees Mini. Mr. Sabathia, Yankees Mini. McCutcheon, Pirates Mini. Ichiro, Mariners Mini, Correa Astros Mini, Robinson Cano, Mariners Mini, Mr. Shipley, D Backs Mini. Diaz Mariners Mini, Maven Marlins Mini, what do we have here, Komodo Dragon which measures 1.4 million Scoville units, that's hot, thank you freaking nature, Baseball Superstition, again that's a non-baseball card, Luke Weaver, Cardinals Mini, Ahmed Rosario, Rookie Relic for the Mets, and now the last box mojo. Facebook, who that is hit me up on the Facebook. What up, Yvonne? On Breakers, how you doing?
All right, last box. Good luck, everyone. Especially those without a hit. Ozzy Smith, Cardinals Mini. Matt Kemp, Dodgers Mini. Uh, Kimbrell, Red Sox Mini. Roger Clemens, Red Sox Mini. Jay Bruce, Indians promo. The bullpen car. Again, that goes to the non baseball spot. Sean Newcomb, Braves Mini. Marquez, Rockies Mini. Gonzalez Nationals Mini. Hey, that dude, Steve Simeon. That goes to the non baseball spot, the autograph. He was a comedian, apparently. There you go. Michael Fulmer, Tigers Mini. And Otani. Base for the Angels. The Yugoslavia mini flag. Mr. McMahon, Rockies mini. A Benintendi relic for the Red Sox. A Ripken Jr. Orioles Mini. Joey Gallo. Rangers Mini. A Severino. Yankees Mini. Mr. Taylor of the Dodgers Mini. What do we got here? The Ophidiophobia, I think is the fear, what is it, a fear of a snake? Aries Hoskins, Phillies rookie mini. A Kintama Ada, Dodgers relic. A Blackburn Aves mini. Mr. Jones, Orioles Mini. Indigenous Heroes, Geronimo Mini. Mr. Jackie Robinson, Dodgers Mini. Mr. Calhoun, Angels Mini. What is that? The Butch Trinidad Scorpion 1.4 million Scoval units? Yeah, no, thank you. A Vado Red Mini. And that's going to do it for the break. Uh, we still have the top loaders, though. Maybe we get an autograph in there. Let's see. Alindor Indians. Uh, what is that? The N43? The N43 box topper. Uh, for the bigger ones, though, going to need a bit more space so you can see it. Alright. We have... Uh, Onus Wagner. Pirates uh, top loader. Or I should say box topper. My bad. Bryce Harper, Nationals, 
And last but not least, we got Mr. A Aaron Judge of the Yankees. All right, let's recap the hits. So relics, we have my Ada Dodgers. Let me put this back down. Benintendi Red Sox, Rosario Mets, Bell Pirates, Correa Astros, Betts Red Sox, Benjamin Non Baseball, Cano Mariners, Posey Giants. In our uh, other hits, we have number three out of ten, Byron Buxton Twins cloth, the Royals Merrifield with the autograph, and going to the non baseball spot. Mr. Steve Simeone, a comedian with a autograph mini. Again, going to the non-baseball spot. The non-baseball spot is like low-key, pretty decent. And that was the break. Thank you very much. We'll drop to you.